Okay, we have already downloaded and installed MetaTrader 5 and now we are going to create a demo account that we can connect to our trading environment. This is one of the brokers I like to use for demo accounts because it does support MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 and I have created several trading systems in both languages. I have also already made deposits and withdrawals and so far I'm happy with the performance and with the fees. Another thing you need to consider is if your demo account is going to expire. I have had several demo accounts that expired within a few weeks. Sometimes without any kind of warning and that is a real pain. So let's open a new demo account. In my case the trading platform will be MetaTrader 5. Now I choose an account type. And very important, you should absolutely make sure that you can use the hedge system. If your broker doesn't support the hedge system for MetaTrader 5 and MQL5, you will only be able to open a single position for a currency pair. So make sure that you double check that he supports the hedge system. It's brand new, only a few weeks old. So I guess the majority of the MQL5 brokers might not already support it. This is the leverage. I always choose the highest possible leverage. Basically the higher the leverage the more money you can move with a smaller account. My start deposit will be 100,000 bucks. Now I will need to type in a password and an investor password. With the investor password you can have somebody look into your account and see all the trades you made. But he will not be able to trade anything in your account. So after everything is set and done we will click on confirm. And here are our account settings. We have to save them immediately in a safe place to keep them secure. Now back in the MetaTrader we need to type in the broker name here and scan for the server. And there it is. In the next step we are going to connect the MetaTrader 5 environment with our newly created demo account.